How did uh, coming back to WWE in 1995, how did that whole situation arrive? Um, I don't know. I had met with uh, Jerry Briscoe and Vince were down in Florida, Tampa, and they wanted to talk to me about bringing me in. And uh, we came up with a character, the Wayland Mercy character. I'd never been a character, I've always been myself, and uh, I was looking forward to it. And uh, I enjoyed doing that character. I, I regret the fact that I didn't have, I wasn't in good health to uh, finish the run with that. And, um, you know, it's one of my biggest uh, things that bothered me that I didn't come really make it with uh, the time of doing it. Is it true that it was uh, based off of the Max Caddy character in Cape Fear? Yes. Did uh, did you have much say in the vignettes and, and the way that they introduced the character? Because it seems like there was months of vignettes before before you arrived. Uh, no, that was just that was all me as far as uh, the uh, the vignettes that we did. I just winged it, you know, and. Uh, there were some uh, pretty good ones that we made. Any favorite matches from that run? Uh, me and Kevin, uh, Kevin Nash had some good matches together. I enjoyed working with him. Uh, that was basically it. Any memories of uh, your matches with Bret Hart? Uh, I think me and Bret worked one time. I understand Bret was upset with me after the match. I heard he told the guys backstage I treated him like a job boy. And, uh, you know, I just came back from Japan, been working over there for years, and it's a lot stiffer than the guys here in the States. And I guess I got carried away, and maybe I did bump him around too much. So was it you that decided to leave after that run? <sighs> yeah, I, I was just, I was hurt. I mean, two weeks after I quit, I had my hip replaced. And then six months later, I had a knee replacement. Um, but looking back, I wished I'd stuck it out longer and finished the run with that character. Did you come up with the Wayland Mercy outfit, wrestling in uh, pants and the shirt? It was a joint, joint, uh, joint venture type deal. You know, we kick things around, and come up with, a, with the, the creative people that Vince had working for him. Is it difficult to wrestle in pants, like long pants? Those like pants, that? nah, they were light. Would you have eventually got the uh, tattoo on your head, uh, actually tattooed on your head if you'd done that <laughs> character <laughs> long enough? I don't know about that. I thought about it, but yeah, I would do it as long as I knew there was some way to get rid of it after I was done, which I hear there is. What's your favorite movie a fan is asking you? Uh, Cape Fear. Cape Fear, really? Mm -hmm. So that character really was truly something that was perfectly yeah, suited I'm a, for you. I'm a huge uh, John Wick fan and uh, Jason Board fan, but Cape Fear was, uh, I enjoyed that because I enjoyed that character. What did you think of Kevin Nash in the second John Wick movie? <laughs> I thought he did good. You know, he did that really well. Would you have expected Waylon Mercy? Uh, to still be talked about as much today, which is about 20 years later or more, for that a character. It's crazy, <laughs> I mean, you know, I, that character was only around for like nine, 10 months maybe, and uh, the people are just infatuated with it. It's, I get mail all the time on that character. Lives are gonna be in White of Mercy's hands, you know what I mean?